so goddamn expensive. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in. Today's video is going to be a apartment hunting video, so I am on my way to look at some apartments. I've already moved out of my apartment in Brooklyn and I've just been searching for some places. So I'm going to be taking you guys around with me for the next week to look at some apartments that I have scheduled. Um, so if you're looking for an apartment in New York City, this video might be good for you so you can see what's kind of on the market. Um, I was trying to get a good deal because of COVID. A lot of the prices have gone down, but everything is starting to go back up now, especially because it's the summer and prices are generally higher in the summer. So I'm kind of bummed. Um, so for example, you're going to see this apartment that I was hoping to get, but as soon as I, you know, went to view it, they already like the deal that they had is no longer um, a deal anymore so the price went up like maybe two thousand dollars than it was like a week ago so that's kind of bummed that's kind of sad but I'm super excited to see some units um, you're gonna see some luxury units um, I like newer luxury buildings so most of the units that you're gonna see in this video are going to be newer buildings very clean very nice I'm really hoping that I find an apartment guys hopefully I find one this week if you're looking for an apartment maybe you'll find one in this video as well but um, let's go on to the first building so there the first one that I'm going to is actually in Manhattan and it's a studio I would really love to live in Manhattan, but it's so goddamn expensive. Sheesh! So I'm looking at a studio in Manhattan and other one bedrooms in Brooklyn. So yeah, let's go! We are in Financial District and this is the World Trade Center. This is my outfit for today. Got some flowers, fresh flowers. Hello. Hello. So this is the first apartment that I saw. This apartment has a small closet right at the entryway where you can store coats or even put luggages there. And then we move into the hallway which brings you into the rest of the apartment. There's a huge closet right here as well where you can hang things or you can fold them and put them on the shelving unit that's inside of there. So that's great because I have a lot of stuff. And then right behind this closet we have the kitchen area and the appliances and the finishes are so good. I like that great cabinetry and then we move into the living area now this apartment has the option to come furnished or unfurnished I love this divider here where it kind of has a desk um, built inside of it so you can just put a chair there if you don't take it furnished and then we have this little view of financial district right outside and then we're gonna move into the bathroom I love the bathroom, the marble flooring, the LED light behind the mirror, the walk-in shower is so stunning. And this is the sleeping area where they have a king-size bed set up, so it's a good amount of space and then you can mount your TV right on that divider. There's also another huge closet in this bedroom, so that's great for more storage. And then um, it, this divider also has a closet, a mini closet in there where you can hang things and little drawers where you can store things as well. And overall, I think this is beautiful. The lighting is a little dark. Then I went to see another unit inside the building. And this one has the kitchen on the opposite side. 
and it only has one closet in the entry area and it's the small one so mm, that's not kind of good for me I need more space and then the living area is a little bit smaller than the one we saw before but there's this little hallway that leads into the bathroom and then there's a small closet there as well the sleeping area still fits a king size bed and we have the same divider set up into the living area where you can have your desk and mount your TV. So I really really love that apartment but it didn't have enough lighting like the lighting was kind of dark and I really need my lighting to be super bright. Woo, look where we are! Cute. Um, the lighting is really dark and I really need a lot of light for when I shoot so but it was a cloudy it's kind of it's kind of cloudy today so maybe that's why good afternoon guys today is another day and we are going to Long Island City in Queens to check out some apartments I am not too familiar with Long Island City but I have heard or seen like new developments there. Um, it's an up and coming neighborhood. I think it's right across the East River from Midtown. So it's just a quick ride over. I'm gonna check out the neighborhood and see how it is, see if it's a neighborhood that I can shoot in, see if it's a neighborhood that looks clean and looks safe and hopefully the apartments look nice as well. So. Um, yeah, let's go. This is my outfit today. Wearing one of my favorite dresses this season. It's a linen white dress from Dish. I believe I've worn this dress so many times. I'm so obsessed with it. And this is the first apartment that I saw in Long Island City. The bathroom is right at the entrance soon as you walk in. I love the neutral tones of the bathroom and the huge mirror, but it was a little dingy, probably from the previous tenants. I love this empty area here where I can put an entryway table. And then you also have a huge closet right there where you can store your coats, shoes, or luggages. And then we move into the bedroom, which is huge. I love this floor to ceiling windows, guys. Beautiful view. Um, the closet in this bedroom is huge as well so I can put so many clothes in here and then we're gonna move into the living area as soon as you come around you have this triangular shaped living area which I'm not really a fan of but I love the floor to ceiling windows and it's so big and huge you're gonna get so many lights this apartment is east facing so you're gonna get light in the morning time and then you have the little kitchen area which also has a window there so you get light in there as well I saw another unit in the building and this one is my favorite one in the building. As soon as you come in, you have the kitchen area which has an island which I love. And then you have the living area here, floor to ceiling windows as well. And then it has this small area where you can make into an office space or a little closet area or a little shoot area. So that would be my little studio room. And then we move into the bedroom which is actually not as big as the previous one but this one is still a great size. Same floor to ceiling windows, east facing, so great morning light. This closet, however, is a little bit smaller, but overall, this one is my favorite one in this building. And then the bathroom is right at the entrance as well. Same neutral colors, huge mirror, which I love. Great amount of storage. The bathroom is also dingy. And then the closet is kind of small at the entryway. The next apartment had a really great entrance and media slash lounge room. It had a outdoor lounge area where there's a pool, a really big pool so I can go for a swim and it had these lounge chairs that you can hang out on and get a tan. It makes me feel like I'm in Miami, like I'm not in New York City and this is so much fun. I can come out here and shoot as well. Um, if I'm shooting bikinis, I can just run down and do this. So I love this building has really great amenities and the couches are so beautiful. I love the gray color against the beige frame of the chair and it was a really sunny day so it's really beautiful the rooftop area had really great um, seating and uh, there's a hammock that you can enjoy the unit in this apartment is a studio as soon as you come in you have a washer dryer in the unit which is really amazing for new york city and then you have the entryway the hallway is a little bit narrow um, the cabinetry looks nice i like the white color of the cabinets but the shelving looks a little small 
and then we have these huge two huge closets in the living area and one has shelving and an area where you can hang which is great and then the other one is just hanging area so you can store a lot of clothes in there which I love for a studio closet space is super important I don't like where these closets are located because you can't put anything up against that wall but you have these huge windows that go straight across which is supposed to bring in lots of light however because this unit is facing a building you don't really get as much light in but this is the sleeping area and you have another closet right there so overall this unit has great closet space I'm looking in Jersey City as well because it's quite close to Financial District and Soho area downtown and I come here very often. So it's just like a seven minute ride to like areas in like Newport or downtown Jersey City. So that's pretty close and it's closer than how long it would take me from my previous apartment in Brooklyn. So are you guys ready to go see some apartments? Hmm? Yeah? Okay. Come so this is the apartment in Jersey City. This is off of Grove Street. As soon as you enter, you have the washer and dryer on the left side. And then you have some space up top where you can store some things, so I love that. There's another closet on the other side, and this closet just have shelving. And I don't really like that because if you put stuff on the shelves, you can't put stuff in front, and it's so deep. Like, you can't. how are you going to get to the stuff on the shelf? You know so the kitchen is beautiful I love that the refrigerator looks like a cabinet so you can't tell it's a big fridge there I love the marble backsplash as well and then we go straight into the bathroom which I don't really like that but I love the sink here and the white oak cabinetry and it has two drawers which is great for storage but the mirror looks so cheap and the bathroom the shower is not really eh, it's not really giving me life we go into the living area and I love the floor-to-ceiling windows it's so bright which is great and then we go straight into the bedroom but the bedroom is kind of small it looks a little bit big now because I'm using the wide angle but it's actually really tiny and then the closet is okay there's not really like much space for hanging like long things and it's the only closet for you to basically hang your clothes in so I need more space than that but I love that this apartment has a small balcony so I can put my bistro um, table set out there and just enjoy a nice drink mm, the views are okay but I the building guys the building I am obsessed with it's so beautiful the pool is giving Miami vibes and I think that's the aesthetic of the building and it smells so good in there there's a little coffee shop in the lobby area which is so cute welcome to the Blitmore we are now in Manhattan viewing a lovely apartment I've been trying to see for the longest but the price actually skyrocketed before I was able to see it so it went from 31 and change to 48 and change but you know everything happens for a reason it's like double door closets and on this side I also have the same double door closets so much space and then you have this little open area which could be an office or a walk-in closet um, I love this empty space the lighting is so beautiful and look at this wow gorgeous 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 love the countertops so nice this is the living area this is a corner unit the light is so amazing and you get this beautiful view of manhattan gorgeous midtown this is the west side, so you're gonna get like sunset views, which is gonna be so nice. I guess people live next door and they can see over here. <laughs> but it's so nice and beautiful in here, guys. Oh my god. I love the counter stuff space. I can get like bar stools and put right here, maybe like two or three bar stools here would work great. And I love the finishes of this white oak cabinetry, washer, dryer. It's weird that it's in the kitchen, but it's so nice to have this in New York City. We have a window here in the kitchen, which brings light into the kitchen as well. The refrigerator looks like a cabinet door. 
but it's actually a refrigerator and the freezer here I love this apartment this apartment and then down the hallway we have the bathroom here or just bathroom I love the floor just like this light gray color there's a window in the bathroom and that's me this is my outfit for today blue jeans white shirt Louis V bag hello so much light so much mirrored selfies oh that's nice I love the white oak cabinetry gorgeous Ooh. The top is really small though. And this is the bedroom. The bedroom is facing east, so it's gonna get a lot of morning light. Look at all this closet space. Whoa, let me open this up. This is the closet so much closet space it's insane gorgeous layout love 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 this apartment and then you have the w hotel there and this is facing east and <gasps> oh my god don't you just love this apartment? I am now in downtown Brooklyn viewing a few units in this building. This is the first one. And as soon as you come in, you have this little entryway area where I'm thinking I can put a little console table there and a little mirror. And then I have the washer dryer in unit, which is great. The bathroom is still being worked on, but I love the finishes. Hey guys, I love the marble tiling and then we go into the kitchen which is really nice and clean and they have this little area where I can put two chairs and a little table and then we have this closet but it's super tiny maybe I can put my bags in there and then this is the living and sleeping area which is also very small like what am I gonna fit in here I have too much stuff and one other closet over there and the balcony is the best part of this apartment really I can sit out here and just look over Brooklyn and Manhattan is across the way so this is the next apartment in the building and this one as soon as you come in there's no entryway it's just the kitchen <laughs> and then you walk down this little hallway here and then you have another little hallway here go into the bathroom and this bathroom is put together um, love it so cute and then we have oh nothing back there and then we have the washer dryer in unit right in the hallway I like this layout better and then we have a closet here and this is the living and sleeping area it has two huge closet which is great so this unit has great closet space but I don't really like the shape of the unit and then this is another one that I looked at as soon as you come in I have that little entryway area as well but don't think I can fit a table we've got the kitchen here a little area for a table perhaps washer dryer is right over there as well and then we have a closet here this one is a little bit bigger than the other one which is good i like the layout of this unit better because um it's not like a weird shape it's a rectangle so i can put the tv over there the bed the couch maybe i'm not sure but this unit has the same two big closets on the opposite side and great lighting The bathroom is still being worked on. <laughs> Today is another day and I am on my way to see another apartment. This one's going to be in Brooklyn and I'm actually crossing the street right now, <laughs> sorry. So the next place I am going to go see is actually in Brooklyn and it's in a neighborhood that I actually really like and I prefer to be. So I hope the place is really nice. Um, it's a studio, I believe, or maybe a one bedroom. The area is called Brooklyn Heights. It's like right on the border of like Dumbo. 
and I love that area so I'm really excited to see this one I'm walking to the place right now it's quite a long walk and I'm actually a little bit late so I'm rushing and I have my mask so don't worry and it matches my outfit but there's hardly anyone around right now so I'm not wearing my mask but yeah off to the next one so this is the neighborhood it's really nice and quiet and I think it's family friendly you have these brown stones which are really nice it's actually really close to it's by Columbia Heights waterfront where you have the promenade so that's why I really love this neighborhood because it's really nice and quiet and it's right next to the park it's right next to the water so I can go take a walk by the water but look at this block it's so beautiful I love this neighborhood and this is the building I don't think it's that one This is the building! Here we are! So this is a studio apartment. So as soon as you come in, you have the bathroom on the left. And it's a pretty big bathroom. Huge. And the lighting... Hi guys! The lighting seems really good as well. And then we have the washer dryer in unit which is great and then we have that one-sided wall kitchen Ooh, a nice closet right there and I like the finishes of the kitchen it looks nice and then we go into the living area and we have a nice little view of the harbor and then we have the sleeping area so this is an alcove studio so you have like a separated kind of sleeping area and then it has a huge closet with two double doors and then yeah this is it nice and bright and pretty hmm, I like it oh my god guys I absolutely loved that apartment um, it is a studio so it is kind of small and I had a one a two bedroom before but really one bedroom worth of stuff so it is a little tight but I love this neighborhood. I wanted to be here so bad. It is kind of far from the train station. Um, it's like a 10 minute walk. And that's kind of a lot when you're wearing heels too. What the fuck is in the bush? Excuse me. Oh my God, there's something in the bush. Guys, there's, mm -mm, I move away from that bush, but I love this apartment primarily because of the location. It's so beautiful. And then I just walked out the building and look what I see. This is my view literally the New York City skyline it's so beautiful and it's literally just steps away from the apartment it's gonna look so beautiful at night when all the lights are on and I am so in love with this I love this neighborhood it's just so cool right guys oh my god <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the end of my apartment search video. I really hope you enjoyed that. And if you're looking for an apartment, I hope you found something in this video that you liked and want to apply. I'll try to link um, all the listings down below if they are still available by the time I'm done editing this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And let me know if you enjoyed this kind of vlog type video thing where I'm kind of taking you guys around um, in addition to the fashion videos that I usually do. And see you guys. Take care.